Stephen Kraft. We're going to get to know him a little bit better. Hopefully you guys will know him a little bit better. And then we're going to go cruise around in the, uh, in the car, race car, car I wish I had, but it's life. So let's get this thing started. Uh, what is your age in your hometown? Uh, I'm 29 years old and I'm originally from Camas, Washington. Oh. You've been uh, in the scene for a while. Um, how long? Uh, about the same time I've owned the car, and I've had the car a little under 10 years now, and yeah, I, I bought the car with the intention of uh, using it to go drifting, so yeah. When I got the car, that's when I became part of the scene. Interesting. Um, when was the moment you caught the drift bug? Um, I don't know if there was ever an actual moment, but uh, one of my first cars was a lowered S10 pickup. and uh, Truck. Yeah. Uh, Truck. Used to take it up uh, in the back roads behind Camas and Washougal and hit all the gravel roads up at Jones Creek. And, uh, That's a cool kids do. Uh, linking all the corners up there uh, on super skinny roads with, with cliffs and all that kind of great stuff. and uh, Dealing yeah. with all the dust, too. All the dust. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come to a stop. <laughs> yeah. in it. Pretty much rally car status up there. But uh, yeah, like I gained a lot of experience up there. And of course, you know, shortly after, you know, some street experience that helped out, too. But uh, don't do this at home. Yeah, don't do that at home. Uh, but yeah, that's where I started with my old S10 pickup on um, the gravel roads. Very cool. Um, who's who's your favorite driver? Uh, my favorite driver to this day is, and you may not be familiar with him, but uh, uh, Kazama. Back Google. In the, yeah, Google. Back in the day, uh, he was part of the D1 circuit in Japan. I don't know if he really, I haven't followed him anymore, but uh, I don't know if he's still, still a driver and still trying to compete, but really liked his uh, his driving style, and uh, um, they call him the rodeo drifter. Um, always doing crazy tricks and hanging out the door, and uh, just all kinds of fun things. All right. So the next I question hope. is, uh, what other motorsports have you participated in other than drifting? Uh, I, I've had fun with you know pretty much everything, but uh, I've done some road racing back in the day. Uh, autocross, this autocross my Mazda. Mazda is a great car for that. It's Mazda really Speed. Fun. Mazda Speed, yeah. It's a fun car. Um, but uh, yeah, autocross, a little road racing. I drag race all my cars from so, time to uh, time. So what's the 240 pole in the quarter mile? Uh, pre-engine build. Oh, pre-engine build. Fastest that everyone ran pre this motor was uh, 13.2, I think. So what, what are you, you going to get when you put slicks on it? If I hit, you know, if I hit the 11s, I'd be happy. Ooh. Forward to that in the future. <laughs> all right. So the uh, the next question would be, what setbacks have you had? in the past? Um, so this is the fifth motor that's been in this car. Uh, right, but the first three were stock engines. Yeah, right? no first three were, were stock engines. First two, uh, first just single cam Ks. I strongly believe in starting small and working your way up. Um, makes you a better driver. Anyways, started started with uh, two single cams. Um, or you could just stay there if you're poor. <laughs> had, a lot of, had a lot of fun with those for a long time and then got my first SR swap. That lasted a long time. That was a great motor. Uh, and then the fourth setup um, decided to build a motor. Um, and, you put, and you put a lot of money into it, right? Oh, I, de I definitely put a lot of money into like it. I, I don't, I don't really. So. Well, more than give that. Or take, give, give or take. Yeah, there was, there was a lot more. There was a lot of money. You got some hookups along around. the way. Yeah, hookups along the way. But still, it's, it was quite a bit of money at the time. Yeah. And um, then, uh, as luck would have it. Yeah, I, I drove that car actually for a while. Uh, that setup for a little while um, through most of uh, 2012, and then. Uh, um, you mean the, the stock S? No, no, actually the, the built one. Oh, okay. um, and then um, went in for retuning and some upgrades and changing things up for the next season because I wanted to do Pro Am. Um, and uh, it never hit the track again. Um, it uh, failed at my house, and uh, uh, I've been working to rebuild and, and get back on track ever since. So now we're on motor number five. This is motor number five. Yeah. Okay. The, the badass one, the, the legit one. So. Oh, oh. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, <laughs> along the way, um, how has having a child changed any of your goals or aspirations? Um, it really hasn't. I mean, uh, my kids are the most important thing to me. Um, but uh, I, I strongly believe in staying true to your passions and, and interests and uh, not really letting anything slow you down. There's no reason to let it slow you down. So, um, I just want to, in the future, get them more involved. So, and, instead of uh, giving up stepping up yeah. yeah giving it yeah exactly instead of giving up stepping up that's very great cool. way to put that. Cool. very cool Let's see if I forgot anything here um, what are your future goals so I mean I'll always drift 
2017 is coming up. What are you trying to do? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, uh, I'd like to hit um, all the tracks around the area. That'd be great. We have a lot of tracks in the Northwest area yeah. now that... Uh, that uh, so I if you own a track in the Northwest, we're coming for you. Uh, I mean, not we, we but him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know that the, uh, the villains, the Drift Team, they are, are working currently on that uh, the Meehan uh, replica track. Um, so shout out to them for that because that's really awesome. Isn't there isn't there a track going on at Walla Walla? Aren't they it's going on. on that it's, too? It's or is that the same one? Hopefully, it'll, no, that's the same one. Yeah, that's the same one. Yeah, down at Walla Walla. That's, oh, hell uh, hopefully, yeah. that's that that happens, and I, I I hope that they have success with that. Hell yeah. uh, I really can't wait to hit that up. That's going to be awesome. Uh, uh, keep it up, whoever's yeah. working on it. So the next one would be, what are your current sponsors or people that have helped you out? Um, so, so, so current sponsors, uh, people that, uh, the main one, obviously, at PSI, uh, uh, Jason Oakland at PSI, uh, he's, he's really helped me a lot. He's, he's pretty much led the, led the way with this build, uh, telling me my, my do's and don'ts, what I should do. And, uh, 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 without his guidance and help, uh, this car wouldn't be alive again. So a uh, huge thank you for, to all the guys at the shop uh, for working on the car and taking their time. And uh, uh, yeah. PSI so he's helped you out with wiring, suspension, and the engine. Oh yeah, look, pretty much everything. The main thing, you know, they did the transplant and they, so they rebuilt this motor and, and this motor is, is yeah. legit. 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 Fresh from them. We're about to ride in it. It, it, it gets it. Yeah. It, it. It goes. Um, who, helped, who helped you out with the, um, the safety equipment? You said you got a hook uh, up? Yeah, uh, 425 Motorsports hooked that up. Um, they, I, I took them on as a sponsor back in 2012, getting ready for Pro-Am. Obviously I never hit Pro-Am, but uh, yeah, I took them on back then and they hooked it up with all the safety equipment. The seats, helmets, race suit, all that kind of great stuff. Uh, so a big shout out to them. Um, thank you for that. Did they hook it up with these seats too? <laughs> no, no, no. With the seats in the car, yes. Okay. Who did these seats come from? These are actually PSIs. They're just, they're just staying here right now. They need to go back. Oh, so. I want them. Anyway, um, let's see. Was there any other? Was there anybody else who's helped you out? I know, I know. Uh, you had some you know, tires too. Uh, uh, oh yeah, trendsetters. They helped me out with tires. Uh, all uh, over the years, they've helped me out significantly, uh, saving me costs on tires. Uh, before I could ever afford uh, nice new tires, they would always have used tires for me that I could buy tires dirt cheap. Tires uh, that tires helps so much. So. Um, but yeah, so I tried to trendsetters as well. Uh, not the, uh, one more. Um, the homies? Uh, you know the homies? Uh, yeah, the homies from, from back in the day. Uh, they were there when, when I was really getting involved within the scene, and I was there when they were really getting their, their business off the ground. Is Level Ride Concepts, those guys are really cool. Uh, yeah. Gone and hung out with them multiple times, and always seen them at the track. They, they used to change tires for everybody. Great, yeah. great guys. Uh, yeah. And watched their business uh, somewhat explode, and, and Right. Seeing them be successful, and that's awesome. That's awesome. So no, I still have the the hand the hydro brake that I bought from them, and my truck A put into truck B still works great. As do I. Love I still it. have the original hydro you gave me. So yeah. uh, any uh, special thanks to anybody else that isn't like a current sponsor or anything like that? Any uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, uh, just friends and family. Um, there's been so many friends and family that's helped me out over the years and, and had my back and and known how important drifting was to me. Um, thank you to all of you, my mom, uh, my sister, my dad. Um, the biggest one probably that I should definitely mention is my grandma. Um, so back in the day, uh, I went through some really hard times and, and sh for a while there she was doing whatever she could to uh, help me out. So this car actually, uh, the people that know this car from back then, for a long time it rocked a sticker on the back window, a very large sticker uh, that said Grandma's Boy. And that was oh, a sticker wow. that was that was dedicated to her. Um, for helping you out? Pretty much as a sponsor on the car. I mean, no, she was my, for nice. a long time I considered her my main sponsor. And so nice. I wanted That's to really show cool. that. So. That's really cool. Well, it's uh, it's been cool having the opportunity to uh, cruise around the, the monster here and uh, hopefully inform you and or anybody else as to who Stephen Craft is. And, um, until next time. Uh -huh. See you later. That one's still going. Oh, is it? Yeah.